Hello once again. Welcome back to Crafting with Karen. Uh, as in the past, I just kind of want to show you what we have done and what we're doing. Uh, to, we have done our summer under glass, our flowers in a picture frame, our paper roses, and today we are going to be doing a dessert plate using a napkin and Mod Podge. Uh, don't forget that you can get these supplies from us, but you must call us, let us know that you're interested in it. We'll pull them together, give you a call, and have them at the curbside that you can pick them up. Also, just to let you know, we have a bingo game that we are doing for our adult reading program. You can pick up a bingo card from the curbside or inside the library, return it, and there's a prize at the end, and that prize is a $50 gift certificate, or gift card rather. Uh, that's the first prize, and then the second one is $25. So keep that in mind because it ends the 1st of August, and all entries must be in by August 14th, maybe? I would have to double check on that, but it is on our website. So check it out, read your books, get it in, and you might win a gift card. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the dessert. Give me dessert plate. Give me just a moment. Let me move this stuff out of the way because you know how I am. Got to get our supplies in front of us. So let me move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Now, this plate came from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. Not a thing wrong with it. This is what it looks like before it is fixed. I know it's kind of hard to see because it is clear. So, just to let you know, this did come from the Dollar Tree, and you can get different sizes. I just got the dessert plate. They also have dinner plates, and you could do the very same thing with the dinner plate. Now, I am using Mod Podge. It's different types of Mod Podges. This is just a general one, but there is one that comes in a blue bottle that is dishwasher safe. So, you could, in actuality, do this project use the particular one that says dishwasher and make sure it says dishwasher safe because there's two blue ones and they are different colors of blues but you got to make sure you get the correct one and complete this particular project and you could actually they say you could put it in dishwasher mm, i personally probably would not but you can at least hand wash it so it's, it's a lot easier now when you're doing this you are not going to put the napkin on the top it will go on the bottom so that also makes a difference so it is food safe so you can can do that so i have my mod podge i have my plate I have a little paper plate and this is a little styrofoam something I picked up at Dollar Tree as well and the only reason why I got this is because I like to have my stuff kind of up high so it isn't laying directly on there you don't have to have this this is just me and then of course I have napkins you can get these napkins in many different places many different styles and all sorts of things like this so we have these different ones today and just choose what you like. Um, you do need some alcohol, and the purpose of the alcohol is once you take the sticker off, you do need to take um, a cotton ball and kind of wipe it down to make sure that there's not any fingerprints or anything like this. So, first thing we need to do is to decide which napkin we're going to use, because you have to pull it apart. Now, the one that I have done, I use this particular napkin. Now, I will tell you, I did make a mistake on this one. Actually, I made two mistakes. Um, and, you know, I'm one that I'll admit I made a mistake. I didn't quite get the uh, backing off of the, the napkins. And because of the way the design is, <laughs> I didn't get that in the middle. So, if you have one that's going to have something that is in the middle, my suggestion is that on this side... You put a little black mark there and that way when you put everything down you can get it centered the way it's supposed to be. Of course, <laughs> if you use a napkin that it doesn't matter where the center is, then you don't have to worry about it. So something like this, you wouldn't have to worry about that. So that's what I'm doing today is using this one. But what you have to do is you do separate it out. Let me get my glasses on so I can see how to separate it out. And sometimes it is a little aggravating. Um, but if you get down to the edges, it will separate out and just gently tear it apart now you don't need this you could use it as tissue paper i guess in a, a present or something it's, it's about that size 
But then you have this. Notice it. Actually, let me see. Oops, oops, oops. This is a three-ply. Most of them are two. So I've got some more paper. I, looky, looky what I've got, Cookie. There is another layer in here. Make sure you get all three layers if it's a three-layer napkin, please. Makes it a lot easier and goes on a lot smoother as well. I knew something didn't look right there. But just gently tear it apart. So, see I have this. And I have this. So, what you do is you take your Mod Podge. You roll it. You're not supposed to shake it. You're supposed to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it to get it together. Open it up. And, whoops. Ugh. Nasty looking. Use that for this. <laughs> we always have to have a little bit of a disaster somewhere, don't we? I'll get that up later. Uh, and take a sponge. And then what you're going to do on the back side, you're going to just put a thin layer of the Mod Podge all around. Because when it dries, it actually dries clear. So you, you know, if it's a little bit thick, it mm, might take a little bit longer for it to actually dry the way it's supposed to. But you just do it all the way around. Get it to the edges because you want it to adhere to the edges. And then you take your napkin with the pretty side and put it down very gently because this Mod Podge will stick. Kind of pull it so you can kind of get it pulled out and you smooth it out all the way down. Now there's going to be some wrinkles in there and there's just not any way that you can completely uh, do away with those just because of the way the napkin is. But try to smooth it down as much as you can. Now, this needs to sit for at least 15 minutes. So in preparation for that, see how I have done it, see how it is in the front, what it looks like. I have one that I already have that is already dry. Okay, so once it is dried, then what you need to do is to take your sponge again and you are going to paint over the napkin again. This is what gives it the waterproof or the protection. And you just paint all over. And like I say, it will dry clear so you're good as far as that's concerned. Do it all the way to the edges. And it calls, tells you to do a couple of them, a couple of um, coats just to make sure that it is coated like it's supposed to. So you're really supposed to kind of wait between coats for it to dry. I'm not going to today just for you know, purposes of showing you what you need to do once, once the, uh, everything is dry. But you go through and you let it dry. And then what you do is get a pair of scissors. Now I have these tiny little scissors like this. Got these at Dollar Tree. Tickled to death with them because they are small. They're easy to use. And then once everything is dry, you just go around the edges of your plate and you can actually probably pull it but you want it kind of even so you go around the edges of your plate right on the edge and this also lets you find out you know if, if some of the Mod Podge didn't stick then you can always go back and add a little bit more Mod Podge to it to, to stick down there but it goes all the way around so when you finish you wind up with a plate that looks like this as usual, if you have any questions, you can email me at karen.garris at waynegov.com. Be more than happy to answer any questions or give us a call and ask for me. I work Wednesday through Friday most weeks, but they will put you to my voicemail and I will be more than happy to give you a call back. Thank you and see you next time.